Like many developers interested in microservices, you start off dabbling with Google Kubernetes Engine, our powerful cluster manager and orchestration system for running your Docker containers. First, you accept all the defaults and then slowly start modifying a few parameters to support your application. As you spend more time, your confidence increases. More traffic and mission-critical applications move to GKE, which is great. You will be able to benefit from GKE's advanced cluster management features. Soon enough, your cluster size gradually starts increasing. Things seem to be going fine until one day when you start hitting scalability and manageability issues that can often be avoided by implementing some key best practices during cluster creation. Over the next few sections, we will be covering some of the best practices, features, and designs in GKE networking that can help you scale and manage your GKE footprint as your business grows. First, let's talk about VPC native clusters. As you know, Kubernetes mandates direct pod-to-pod -pod connectivity, but there is more than one way to achieve this. By default, Kubernetes uses static routes for pod networking, which requires the Kubernetes control plane to maintain these routes to each node. This comes at a scaling cost. In GKE, we give you the option to create clusters in VPC native mode, which provides container native networking. VPC native mode is enabled with a single click and enables connectivity between all the pods in your VPC without the overhead of route scaling. The VPC control panel automatically manages routing setup for pods, and the native integration of container networking in the VPC fabric improves scalability and integration between Kubernetes and other VPC features. Kubernetes also makes very liberal use of IP addresses, which simplifies the system and makes it easier to use and comprehend. But on the flip side, this makes IP management a challenge for Kubernetes deployment. This is exacerbated in a hybrid deployment or where IPs are fragmented, making IPs a scarce resource. VPC Native solves this by providing flexibility in defining your cluster scale requirements upfront for resources like pods, nodes, and services. So instead of having 100 resources and thousands of IPs, you can now have 100 resources and 128 IPs. This allows for Kubernetes to reduce its IP footprint, thereby improving the overall IP utilization. VPC native clusters also enable other enterprise-grade features. For example, sharing VPCs between projects, IAM and role separation, providing anti-spoofing security in our SDN stack, and also private clusters for cluster isolation. Apart from scaling, security is another criteria that needs to be considered in best practice. Enterprise users require a deployment in which your services and networks are isolated and accessible only within trusted boundaries. GKE provides this through private clusters. Private clusters makes the worker node and the cluster master accessible only within the trusted boundaries. Any unauthorized access to your control plane is set to default deny. For a road warrior use case in enterprise, Private Cluster also provides a wall garden access to control plane through private endpoints, which is provisioned by the customer. Another best practice to be aware of for applications at scale is how you expose your services to the internet. When you need to deploy your applications, you may start off using a cluster-based ingress controller, such as Nginx or HAProxy. This is really familiar for a lot of us. It's just a standard proxy that you would run on your laptop. You would then expose your application to the internet using a layer 4 Kubernetes service load balancer. However, when your application scales up, you will want to use the Google Ingress implementation in GKE. The GKE Container Native Ingress is a globally scalable, low latency, distributed proxy layer that supports many of the built-in features such as caching, authentication, and DDoS protection. You won't want to fiddle with how many instances of your proxies to scale up to or worry about how to absorb an attack. In addition, the Google Ingress has built-in support for container-native load balancing using network endpoint groups. This means that the network traffic will be balanced directly to the container in your VPC, skipping the overhead of bouncing through the Kubernetes queue proxy layer. You'll also be able to easily debug your traffic as your connections no longer need address translation to get to their destination. There are also other subtle advantages, uh, advantages of using Google Ingress instead of cluster-based controllers, such as connection imbalance and accurate end-to-end -end health checks for your backends. GKE makes the job of deploying a scalable Kubernetes much less daunting and offers many features that allow you to future-proof your deployment. We have only scratched the surface here, and there are many other techniques that helps in scalability and manageability of your cluster.
Please attend the HYB314 session at Next 2019 SF to learn more about these tools and tips.